Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius friends. How are you today? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. And those of you that are new to my channel, hello, hello, and welcome. This is a reading for all of my Sagittarius friends, and we're going to find out what message spirit guides would like to relay to you today. All right, now this is a general reading, so I ask that you please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right, Sagittarius, what do spirit guides need you to know? All right, so we are getting here the Two of Swords. So I feel with this card, um, some of you might be trying to make a decision. There's something that you're deciding to do here, and I feel that you're getting conflicting information, or you're having a hard time deciding, and that's because you're not seeing things for what they actually are, because um, it's almost like an information overload, and um, the information you're almost not trusting, okay? Things just don't seem to be sitting right with you and it's only because either you're not getting all the information or the information that you're receiving um, is kind of put a bad taste in your mouth and you're just overall confused right if that's what's kind of what I'm feeling here or maybe um, you're having a hard time uh, deciding how you want to present yourself to someone or um, you're not showing yourself um, your true self to someone as you're deciding something is kind of the energy I am receiving here. And I feel like your guards are up, but you're not sure um, if you're going to pull your swords out here. Um, it's kind of what I'm, I'm, I'm feeling here with this energy, especially with the two swords, that deciding factor, the two of swords. So this is ideas. This is kind of going on in your mind. Okay, and I feel a lot of this could um, be due to... Um, okay, and I'm seeing... Um, there's a tree outside that's looking at me and it, it looks like it has a, a, one eye. So spirit guides are really asking you to use your intuition here, okay? To um, look at whatever is going on and whatever you're deciding on or whatever's happening um, around you that you're unsure about to use your intuition. How do you feel when you're hearing the information? Does it not settle in right with you? Um, do you get this like gut feeling? Whatever it is, if it's not good, it's probably not good and your gut feeling your instincts your higher self your intuition will not lead you the wrong way okay so Sagittarius you're here because you are watching this and if you're somebody that is having a hard time deciding or if you're having um, a situation kind of going on you're not seeing the two sides correctly or there's some sort of confusion listen to what you are feeling okay maybe quiet things around you quiet the energy sit in a place where you're able to think things through feel things through before uh, making any kind of decisions for yourself okay it's funny that I'm seeing that third eye in the tree here it's kind of interesting I wish I could grab my camera and focus it over there um, here we are getting the Four of Swords as well. So the Four of Swords here is letting me know um, uh, that uh, things that uh, there might be limiting beliefs or things that um, bad habits or patterns that you need to release, okay, at this time. Um, this could be maybe if you're trying to make this decision or... Whatever you're facing right now, whatever it is in this current moment that's coming to your mind as you're listening to me do this reading for you, I feel like if you're confused about it, to release the energy and leave it be and not, um, not partake in it. I don't want to tell you what to do. I mean, it's your decision, but I feel like leave it alone for now and let it kind of simmer for a bit. Let yourself... Um, pull back and not make a decision on something just yet. Okay, here for this. And I feel for some of you, you might be maybe thinking about um, changing your uh, habits or your patterns in life. And spirit guides are really asking you to release this energy now, okay? Because those everybody's going through a new cycle okay there's a new there's an old cycle ending there's a new cycle coming up and for a lot of us we create our own cycle which is okay january's january is rolling around and i want to now better myself i want to do this i want to do that right um i'm going to take up the, you know the gym i'm going to hit the gym i'm going to get a membership um 
and you're trying to put in place uh, goals, structures, planning, and release any kind of negative habits, right? You're releasing that negative energy and that goes for anything, even negative thinking, toxic people. Um, if you're in a position where you're not happy to release all negative energy that does not serve you at this time. And that is what uh, Four of Swords here is letting you know, or at least you're thinking this, but to actually take action on these steps. Okay. We are also receiving the Five of Pentacles. So some of you may not be feeling secure in the place that you're in right now. There might be this fear of uh, not being accepted or uh, fear of being let go. Uh, maybe you're in a position right now, you're afraid that you're going to lose your job. Um, you might be in a relationship where you feel like there's going to be a breakup. Um, there's some sort of fear of an ending or fear of something, right? And spirit guides want you to know that those thoughts are all in your kind of overthinking, right? Um, that you can break out of the situation, okay? Spirit guides are letting you know that this is not the case. This is something that you're thinking. You're fully capable of getting yourself out of this uh, thinking or this situation, okay? To seek advice or help from those around you to ask for support if you can. And if you're somebody in a position where you're um, helping someone in uh, a difficult time right now or seeing that somebody's going through a difficult, difficult time, hardship and you're able to help and try to help because this will bring in good karma for your future my friends okay to always think about people around you with love and support and compassion right so that is um an energy i'm getting here as well and i feel for some of you might be seeing someone go through this right now and they could use a little bit of help i mean i'm not asking that you give them financial support unless you you have the money to do so but to even be just a shoulder to lean on even someone to talk to right because people right now in this world with the things that are going on need support they need someone to talk to right Maybe someone's going through a difficult time. Maybe it's not yourself and you're seeing someone go through something where you are seeing that they're being um, deceived or taken advantage of. I'm also getting the star card here. So for some of you, you are reaching really big. You're looking at the bigger picture for yourself. And hence why... Um, you're getting this energy of releasing and uh, getting rid of negative patterns. Um, that feeling of um, that financial hardship or struggles with the five of pentacles here is letting you know that if you are really focusing on what you truly want, that you're very capable of getting there. Okay, even with this card, I feel like you're in a position where now is the time where you're realizing, you know what? I don't want to feel like this anymore. I don't want to feel like I'm going to lose something or someone, or a job. So spirit gods are really asking you to focus your energy on where it is that you see yourself in the future and to push your way through to that moment, okay? And to change those habits, release that negative energy, release any kind of negative patterns or negative ways of thinking. And here, there's a decision that's happening. And this decision is showing you that I feel a lot of you are going to um, really uh, take on this bettering yourself and focusing on yourself and making sure that you do move in a positive direction in your life. Wow. That is amazing here, Sagittarius. Okay, Six of Cups. So some of you might be um, thinking about somebody from your past, something that there's some sort of a, a memory that's kind of replaying in your mind right now, or there's something that's been on your mind for a very long time. This could be negative. This could be positive. I feel like it's, um, it's reminiscing on something from your past or someone from your past and, um, maybe reuniting with them. So I do feel like some of you are going to hear from somebody in your, from your past here in, t in a, the next couple of days to a few weeks. I'm seeing someone, either you're going to bump into them and this is going to spark something that's going to push you forward, I feel like, or what's happening is this person is coming, reaching out or just happened to bump into you and they're going through a really tough time and need somebody to talk to. But I do see someone here that is coming in from some of your past um, in some way. 
Uh, maybe they've been on your mind, maybe they've texted you, maybe you've seen them on Facebook or on any social media platform and now they've kind of come across your mind and I either see them reaching out to you or you reaching out to them and maybe they're the ones that need that helping hand or they're going through a tough time and having, um, they're in need of support of some sort, right? So that is an energy I'm getting here as well, but I think that a lot of you need to focus your energy here on the star card because there is a new cycle coming in and it's leading you to your dreams to you know things that you are passionate about that you should be chasing okay and that is I feel overall energy you are kind of reaching for that as well so to remain in that energy as well and um, it'd be interesting to find out what happens with whoever it is that's going to try to reach out to you or who it is that you are uh, thinking about or has been on your mind for a little while here okay this could be parents this could be a sibling this could be an ex-lover this could be a neighbor that you once lived with it could be a roommate what have you I'm seeing somebody definitely popping into your life in the next couple of days to a few weeks um, this could be with some news I feel I, I'm also getting some sort of good news here for some of you so there you have it my beautiful Sagittarius friends that is your reading for today thank you so much for watching if you're enjoying my reading please hit that like button and if you're new to my channel and you're enjoying my content please consider subscribing other than that I wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.